Hello there, Assalamualaikum. This is Azlina Abdul. In today's quilting tutorial, I will be teaching you guys how to make this simple five point quilt star. So let's get started. I'm going to start this tutorial by making the first pointy shape of the five point quilt star. I only use three strips of quilting paper to make each pointy shape. Here are the measurements of the quilling paper in centimeters and in inches. I personally prefer to use the 5mm quilling paper for this quilt star design, but you can also use the uh, 3mm quilling paper if you like. This tutorial is actually a request from a lady named Jenny Han from Facebook. She found this quilt star design on Pinterest, but she couldn't find the directions on how to make it, plus the design was described in a foreign language. So she seeked my help and I agreed to help her out because I'm quite familiar with this combing technique which I have used before to make flowers. So before I start doing the combing technique, I first need to glue all the three pieces of quilling paper together to make one long strip of quilling paper. After that is done, I like to apply a gentle pressure on the quilling paper with the bamboo stick. You can also use a pencil or a pen instead. This will help make the quilling paper more flexible and easier to comb with later. I'm using this 2-in-1 quilling comb that has a narrow set teeth on one side and a white set teeth on the other. I chose to use the white set teeth for this. I also marked the starting point with a red marker on the handle. This will make it easy for me when I want to make the same shape over and over again. I don't need to recount how many teeth I need to start, as there's already a mark on the handle as a guide for me. So to start the combing technique, I wrap around a row of 8 teeth with the quilling paper and glue it. This will be the center and as I continue to comb the quilling paper, tiny loops will be created on each side of it. As you can see here, every time I make a loop, I would apply a little dot of glue on the center. This is very important because after I've done all the tiny loops and when the whole thing is ready to be pulled off the comb, all the tiny loops will be intact and won't fall apart. So don't forget to glue, okay? Don't rush as well when you're pulling it off the comb because you don't want to tear the paper in the process. So be gentle and take your time. Okay, this is going to be taking a few minutes to finish. I didn't want to speed up the video because I want you to be able to clearly see how it's done. So I don't think I have to explain much about this. So I'll be quiet for a while so that you can have 100% focus watching me do this, okay? <laughs> All right.
Hi, I'm back. Okay, I can continue talking again now because all the tiny loops are done. I can now carefully pull all those tiny loops off the comb. I like to use the tweezer here to hold the center part and then fold the whole thing in half. When I fold it, I make sure that it looks symmetrical first before I pinch the center part of it. After that, I can wrap the whole piece with one round of quilling paper. This part here is probably the trickiest part to do. It's tricky because I need to make sure all the tiny loops are glued to the quilling paper and at the same time shape it to make it look pointy like the star and not shaped like a flower petal. I just used my thumb and fingers to shape it. The tweezer is a big help too. So one pointy shape is done and I've already made four others in advance. I can now proceed with the next step. So the next step would be to make a small tight coil to be placed in the middle of the star. I only used half of the coiling paper to make this tight coil.
So now I will arrange the tight coil with the five pointy shapes and glue them together. I always make sure I arrange all the shapes together first and see how they look before I glue them because you know if the, in case there's anything that you find that you're not happy with the arrangement or something you know so it's best that you you know take your time with this you know and make sure that you're really happy with the arrangement before you glue them because once it's done it's done there's no turning back and you have to do the whole thing again so take your time Actually, the tight coil alone is not enough to hold all the five pointy shapes together. So I have to glue on top of the tight coil a small circle shaped paper that I cut with a craft punch. This circle will help hold all the five pointy shapes better. I have to wait a few minutes for it to fully dry before I can move it around. Once it is fully dried, turn it over the other side and glue on the tight coil of plastic rhinestone of your choice. I use this diamond-like rhinestone to make it look like a shining star, yeah. The original design didn't have that added on the quilt star. So this is just my personal choice to make it a little different. So that's all there is to it guys. What do you think? I hope you like it and give it a try yourself. I'd like to thank you all so much for taking your time to watch my tutorial till the end. I really appreciate it a lot. So till we meet again next time in another quilling tutorial. Bye everyone. Take care. Stay safe.